Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Josephine and on this channel we talk about fragrances. Today's video is about citrus fragrances that you absolutely need to try. We are currently experiencing a heat wave in the UK, but I guess also across all of Europe. It is super hot. Temperatures have been reaching up to like 33 degrees, which is insane for London. And I have been wearing fragrances that really feel refreshing because it's really hot and sticky right now outside. Especially when you're in the center of a city, it can get a little bit much. So I thought that I would share with you citrus fragrances that are really beautiful, interesting, and unique. So if you'd like to know a bit more about these fragrances, then please keep watching. So the first fragrance, it is a new release from Australian brand Goldfield and Banks. It is called Bohemian Lime. Now they kindly sent me this fragrance to try and oh my goodness, I am mind blown by this perfume. I honestly was not expecting a scent like this at all. I actually was a little bit wary of trying a lime fragrance. Lime isn't my particular favorite note in fragrances, but in here it is done in such an outstanding way. Now what's interesting about Bohemian Lime is that it contains a very special variety of lime. It contains Australian finger lime or lime caviar. So this type of lime is indigenous to Australia and it's a really interesting lime because it basically if you cut it You get all these little balls that come out of it almost like bubble tea You know those little like balls that you have in bubble tea That is what you have with Australian finger lime now I haven't smelt this ingredient before but it is prominent in this fragrance So what does this perfume smell like now this fragrance is your really crisp sexy and casual citrus citrus scent. You definitely get a lime note in here, but there's also a beautiful association with coriander. And the two together create something that is very fresh, very uplifting. And what I find is whenever you have coriander, whether it's in a fragrance, in a drink, in food, it just brings this touch of exoticism that just is, makes you escape to a faraway place, a place that is exotic. Now what's interesting about this perfume is that you also have an underlying sort of a ginger type of feel from this fragrance. So it is spicy as well. Now not only that, but this perfume is really powerful. It packs a punch. Bohemian Lime isn't a light, refreshing and transparent citrus type of perfume. On the contrary, this fragrance is mega mega strong and I absolutely love that about this fragrance. I also get a sort of a density from this perfume, uh, this creaminess. So there is creaminess in this fragrance. It could be coming from the sandalwood, there's also cedarwood I believe in the scent, but there is some sort of creaminess that sort of adds an additional dimension to this tropical feel. So Bohemian Lime is a fragrance that will bring you on a tropical vacation, uh, on a beach or some sort of warm destination. This is what this fragrance encapsulates in my opinion and I would definitely recommend wearing it when it's extremely hot outside. So in conditions of high heat where you can barely breathe, this fragrance is wonderful to wear. This perfume is actually a unisex fragrance, but I would say more leaning towards masculine. I also wanted to mention with this fragrance is that it is super, super long lasting. So this is a uh, eau de parfum uh, concentration, mega long lasting and oh my God, the scent trail is insane. This perfume has such a beautiful sillage. Like people around you will smell you when you wear this. My partner was wearing this and he was like intoxicating the entire room when uh, we were on holiday. So it has this insane sillage and it's really addictive as well. So you kind of like, you just wanna smell more of this perfume. So really, really well done in terms of longevity and projection on this one. So that was Bohemian Lime by Goldfield and Banks. The second fragrance is Light Blue Eau Intense pour Homme by Dolce & Gabbana. And I'm a little late to the party, I have to admit, but this fragrance is a classic for summer. It is really lovely and to be fair, I do prefer the Eau de Parfum over the original Eau de Toilette pour Homme by Dolce & Gabbana. And let me tell you why. I find that the Eau de Parfum has a really addictive quality about the fragrance compared to the Eau de Toilette. Now, don't get me wrong, the Eau de Toilette is lovely. 
it has this really bright, refreshing, citrusy feel that is super nice, really casual as well, and just, I think, is a lovely scent. But the Eau de Parfum has something in this perfume that really grabs your attention. It's like a hook. It draws you in. Now, you also have in this uh, the Eau de Parfum version, the really fresh, citrusy opening. But what I get from this fragrance that is more intense in the Eau de Parfum and the Eau de Toilette is this marine note. So there's a really distinct aquatic marine note in this fragrance. It's fresh, it's a bit ozonic, it's really lovely and will bring you to the beach, but not in a tropical coconut type of way, more in a refreshing aquatic marine way, if that makes sense. This is your super versatile citrus fragrance. So this perfume is a no-brainer perfume for the summertime. If you're a man and you want a mega versatile scent that smells citrusy, musky, there's also a little bit of floral, but essentially citrusy, musky, and aquatic, then this fragrance uh, by Dolce & Gabbana is fantastic to try. The third perfume is one that I've talked extensively on this channel. It is a underrated designer fragrance for men, it is Eau de Citron Noir by Hermès. This fragrance is a very special and unusual smoky citrus perfume. You will not find anything like this on the market. You just won't. This scent is extremely unique. So if you're looking for a really unique citrus scent, try out Eau de Citron Noir by Hermès. Eau de Citron Noir is another fragrance that has exotic type of citruses. So there's this black lime accord in this perfume. Not sure what it smells like, but it's in there, as well as lemon, and there's also some black tea. So when you spray this fragrance, you definitely get a really fresh, sharp, and potent citrus note that is extremely tangy, and it is a lemony note that you get from this fragrance. Like, this this fragrance is super mouth-watering. I've said it in the past, it's almost like you can taste lemon in your mouth when you spray this perfume. And it is immediately associated with this gorgeous, gorgeous, really smoky black tea. And actually, it reminds me of some sort of summer cocktail, perhaps uh, a margarita, because it has this sort of a salty feel. And it, it's reminiscent of this salty feel around the rim of a margarita glass. And it's also a bit tangy. So it's a really interesting fragrance that is fresh and crisp and definitely unusual. So if you want something that's a little bit out there, then Eau de Citron Noir is for you. Number four is a fragrance that holds a very special place in my heart because it is the first citrus that I've ever purchased. It is Still Life and Rio by Olfactive Studio. This is your exotic citrus perfume. Now, it really will bring you uh, to a tropical destination, to the beach, with a cocktail in hand when you spray this fragrance. This is another perfume that you can wear in a really high heat, mega humid situation. So for example, if you live in Asia or if you are um, in a really hot island that is is super humid and you don't want to wear anything and you feel really sticky, Still Life in Rio is one that I personally always reach out for because it just is really refreshing and it will leave this lingering, really pleasing, exotic feel on your skin. So this perfume contains a variety of citruses. So there is yuzu, there is mandarin, there is lemon. But when it develops on your skin, you get sort of a cologne-like character, which is actually reminiscent of a masculine cologne-like feel, which is why this perfume is completely unisex. But what I love about Still Life in Rio, this perfume has coconut water. And the coconut water is what will bring you on an escape. It's a really feel-good type of fragrance, so perfect for summer. And you also get a really lovely hint of rum. So actually, this perfume, if you had to sum it up, it is a mojito on the beach that you're having. This is what this perfume is. So if you enjoy a light coconutty type of feel that is citrusy, that is fresh, and if you're looking for a fragrance that will really refresh you in high heat, 
Still Life in Rio is just perfect. Next up, we have another new release called Blanc Polychrome by Atelier des Ors. They kindly sent me this fragrance as well, and I have to say it is a lovely, lovely citrus perfume for the summertime. This fragrance isn't anything that is too complex compared to, for example, other ones that I mentioned on my list. They're a little bit more out there. This fragrance is an all-round really chic and refined citrus perfume. I would say it is unisex, but leaning more towards the feminine side because there are also some white florals in this fragrance. This perfume is just so well blended. It is your trusty citrus, bright and transparent citrus scent for the summertime. So it is sort of like a ray of bright light, bright white light when you smell this perfume. That's what it is. And it is blended with these really sheer white florals. So I believe there is jasmine in the scent. It certainly smells like a light jasmine-y feel. It is light and transparent and really watery. So it's a watery white floral fragrance supported by citruses. There's also mandarin in this fragrance. So a little bit sweet and juicy from the mandarin. But overall, I would definitely say it's white florals mixed with citrus. In terms of longevity, this fragrance is fantastic. I get at least, at the very, very least, on my skin, eight hours of wear of this fragrance, which is absolutely incredible from a citrus perfume. So that props to uh, Atelier des Ors for doing such a great job with the tenacity and longevity of this fragrance. Number six is the most affordable fragrance on this list and probably as affordable as you can get for a good quality citrus perfume. It is Vetiver Pamplemousse by Zara. Now when it comes to Zara fragrances, there are two perfumes that you should get from Zara. Two, just two. The first one is sandalwood, which is a dupe for Santal 33. And the second one is this one. So what does vetiver pamplemousse smell like? Well, it smells of vetiver and grapefruit. And the grapefruit in this scent is very, very present. You need to like grapefruit to appreciate this fragrance because it is very prominent in this perfume. So the grapefruit, you get the pulp, so that juicy, bitter, but also a little bit sweet. And then it is blended with a gorgeous vetiver note. And the vetiver in this scent is done in a really lovely way. It's a little bit smoky, but it's essentially very bright and complements the grapefruit so well. Now, Zara fragrances are not gifted when it comes to longevity. They tend to last on average around four hours, but you know, this is what you're getting for a super affordable price. You're getting fragrances that can be really Really nice in terms of olfactively speaking, in terms of likability of the juice, but they're not gonna last a huge amount of time. But it doesn't matter because this fragrance you can reapply throughout the day and it just refreshes you on a really hot summer day. Number seven is Orange Sanguine by Atelier Cologne. So Orange Sanguine, as the name suggests, is based around the notes of blood orange or orange, let's say. So this is a orange fragrance. It is a true orange perfume. It is a very playful and happy citrus fragrance. This is what this fragrance does, is sunshine in a bottle, essentially. So Orange Sanguine for me is tied to a very distinct memory. This fragrance reminds me of a orange popsicle that I used to eat when I was younger. And this perfume just brings me there. It brings me to the beach on a hot summer day. I'm eating my popsicle. I can almost taste the popsicle when I smell this fragrance, it's really crazy. But yeah, it brings me to the beach, it's warm, you have this beautiful sea and you're happy and I'm eating my popsicle. So that is what this fragrance does for me and it is a really lovely scent. If you are looking for an orange specific scent, Orange Sanguine by Atelier Cologne is probably one of the best that you can find on the market. And the final fragrance is Jeanne by Memo Paris. Jeanne is your fruity and energizing citrus fragrance. This fragrance is, it also has like a sort of a playful character, but you know, it's a fragrance that you want to wear if you're just chilling, if you're with friends, 
Perhaps you're having a picnic in the park or a garden party during the day. You want to feel fresh and happy and uplifted. Jenna is really lovely uh, fragrance for that. Jenna has a really beautiful grapefruit to pair to a bit floral association as well. Now the grapefruit, unlike say Vetiver Pamplemousse by Zara, is done in a little bit more of a complex way. It's like as if you took a grapefruit and you just smelt the fruit before cutting it. That's what you get with Jenna. It's like a soft, sort of slightly sweet, rounded grapefruit note before you cut through and then all the oils um, come out and you get the full aroma of grapefruit. And it's blended with this lovely pear note that makes this fragrance really juicy, also a little bit playful, youthful, and it's the two together is just really nice. It's a fruit cocktail, a happy fruit cocktail. So that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed discovering these citrus fragrances with me. Let me know in the comments down below what citrus fragrances you enjoy to wear. I would love to know. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in another video. Bye.